It weighs tons, is loud, moves not with grace, but with a lumbering gait. It is the ox. Who could be stronger than an ox? Maybe someone who never got to enjoy a picture-perfect childhood, who had to leave home at 17, get a job, finish high school alone, yet advanced all the way to the White House as Deputy Chief of Staff to Marilyn Quayle. This someone then won a seemingly ideal job, CEO of the North Fulton Chamber of Commerce, but discovered that the chamber checking account had less than $10. The rest had been embezzled. Mo said it can't be saved, but she said, bring it on. Yes, she. Today that chamber flourishes and has helped attract much needed jobs to Georgia. Elected chairman of the Fulton County Commission, she was presented with a huge tax increase. She threw that budget out and wrote a new one. With rational cuts, she balanced it and saved Georgians a hundred million dollars. Bring it on, Georgia. When conventional wisdom said the corrupt sheriff of Fulton County couldn't be touched, Karen Handel said, bring it on, and the sheriff was removed from office. As Secretary of State, Handel accomplished what few other states have, voter ID, proof of citizenship, and fair elections, all while reducing her budget 15%. Does Georgia have challenges that no politician has been able to solve? You bet. Transportation, water, taxes, education, bloated budgets. Who has fresh eyes and the proven ability to solve impossible problems? Who has a heart for people but is stronger than an ox? Who has won tough election after tough election? The same furry creature who tried and failed before? Or those who mean so well, but have proven so little? It is not a good old boy who will make Georgia work. It is a proven, battle-tested, accomplished reformer who just happens to be a she. Got problems, Georgia? Bring them on.